A new version of Game Porting Toolkit 2.0 Beta 3 has just been released. And this is a great way of running Windows games on the Mac, especially games that make use of DirectX 11 and 12. Games like Black Myth Wukong and Cyberpunk 2077 have seen substantial improvements in performance and compatibility using this version of Game Porting Toolkit, which you can see in the corner of the metal HUD is 2.0 B3. So the reason we're doing this is because the current version of Crossover at the time of recording uses the older D3D Metal. We want to update it to the latest version in order to take advantage of the compatibility and performance improvements. And today I'm going to be showing you how to do that using a utility called CX Patcher. I'm also going to be demonstrating how to install a game like Black Myth Wukong, which is a DirectX 12 title. This game is vastly improved using the Beta 3 version rather than Beta 1. So we're going to be using CX Patcher in order to modify Crossover in order to accept this latest version. So technically there is a Crossover preview, which is basically the nightly version of Crossover, which does contain the latest version of D3 Metal. However, that requires a paid subscription. If you wanted to test that crossover and make sure it's working for you, you can make use of the trial, which I'm going to show you how to do now. So the first step is going to be to download crossover. So what I recommend doing is clicking at the link at the top of this video's description. Every single purchase that's made after clicking this link is going to help to support this channel and the content that I create. Once you're taken to the purchase page, you'll be able to enter this promo code Apple Gaming Wiki New. And once you press the arrow button here, it's going to go ahead and apply a 20% percent off discount which is pretty huge off crossover plus which is the version that we recommend for 12 months of support however if you want to make sure that this works for you make sure to check out the 14 day free trial which is what i'm going to be trialing today just click this try now button and then scroll down and all we need to do is enter our email address and name and then click the download trial now button so once crossover is downloaded we're going to copy it over to our applications folder and then we're going to double click to open it for the first time let's open it might ask you to install rosetta 2 just let that install and then we're going to do the free trial or if you have unlocked this already, you can enter your details here from the Code Weavers account. So I'm going to try now to start the 14 day free trial. And basically, we're ready to go ahead and use Crossover. But the first thing I'm going to do is to quit out and we're going to make the modifications to Crossover. This is an optional step that will allow us to use the latest versions of D3D Metal. At the time of recording, that's version 2.0 beta 3. So here we're going to be downloading the latest version of CX Patcher, which I'll be leaving a link in the description. And we're going to be using 0.5.6. And this contains the latest update to game porting toolkit 2.0 which is d3d metal 2.0 beta 3 so here what we're going to do is go to assets and then download the cx patcher.app.zip and then put this in our downloads folder and once that's there we're going to go to finder and then go to downloads and then we'll go to cx patcher double click to extract this and then we're going to move this into our applications folder we are going to make sure that we open up crossover first before we start this process and then close it and then we're going to double click on cx patcher if it says it can't be opened then go to the settings menu here go to system settings and then go to security and privacy and then scroll down until we find here it says the expatriate can't be opened it was blocked to protect your mac click open anyway and here we can close this and press open anyway then we're going to type in our password and then log in that's okay and this will basically allow us to open up applications which aren't from the app store type in your password press okay so just be aware that of course this is not a supported method of patching crossover this really comes at your own risk do not ask for code weavers for support or refund if you're using this method they will not be able to help you. If you need help from Code Weavers, then you should be waiting for official support, which is probably going to come in the very near future. If you want to be able to use this, you need to type in this full phrase and then press agree and proceed. Now CX Patch is ready to use. So we're going to configure some settings first, go to advanced options, and then we're going to be enabling DXVK integrate GPTK. We're going to use a separate bottle path. We're going to be advertising AVX. We're going to be allowing DXVK async, and then we can tweak some of these settings too. So now we're going to drag and drop crossover into CX Patcher. Now CX Patcher is ready to go. So double click on crossover. Say we're going to install Steam. Install. Click yes here. Accept. And now we're just going to go through the standard Windows setup of Steam. And now that's going ahead and downloading Steam. So make sure to allow any kind of permissions that the bottle requests. And then I also advise turning on D3D Metal and also the M-Sync option and then reboot the bottle. This allows us to run DirectX 11 and 12 games through crossover. Then we're going to make sure to launch Steam. So here we're going to log in with our Steam account. So if you don't have one already, you can create one for free. So now that we have the Windows version of Steam loaded up, we can go into a library and basically download any game that we have. Or if we haven't purchased the game that we want to play, we can purchase this here now. So for example, here, we're going to be playing Black Myth Wukong. And uh, I've already made a purchase of this. But if you just want to buy this, just go ahead and click Add to Cart and then make a purchase. And then once it's in your library, we're going to go and do a search for it in your library. And then click on Black Myth Wukong, click Install. And then you can install it in your local C drive. Make sure to 
to go ahead and install this. It's quite a big game, 128 gigabytes in size. So Black Myth Wukong has fully downloaded. And so what I'm going to do is just make sure my cloud is synced. Now I'm going to go ahead and press the play button. And we're going to launch this, the standard version here, click play. Here we're going to accept the end user licensing agreement, press accept. It's installing this dependency, Microsoft VC redistributable, just let that complete. Now it's installing DirectX, just let that finish. It says here the game is best played with the controller, just press OK, and now it's going to launch. So just be aware, it takes a little bit of time for this to actually get started. So don't be alarmed if it says running here, it's actually loading up in the background. So just let that finish. You can see here in your actual doc, it says B1 Win64 shipping.exe. That is actually loading up in the background. So just let that finish. So once you press play, it might take a few moments for this to pop up. But basically, this is a very common pop up for Unreal Engine 5 games. Just press no here. We don't need to upgrade any drivers. We don't have any drivers on a Mac. So that's now running. And so basically, once you're actually in game, you'll see that if you have the Metal HUD turned on, then you'll see that the actual HUD itself has changed. And D3D Metal shows version 2.0 B3 D3D 12. This means that we're now using the correct version of D3D Metal and we have upgraded successfully. If you want to find out how to enable the Metal HUD, then make sure to follow the link in the description for my video tutorial. So anyway, that is how you upgrade to the latest version of D3D Metal on a Mac using Crossover and CX Patcher. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.